Happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are being productive at home because we are about to work on a project that I think is going to take me a few days. And that's okay because we're at home. <laughs> So if you guys also follow me on Instagram, you know exactly, well, and you saw the title of this video, you know exactly what I'm gonna be filming today and the project that we're gonna be working on. I found such a cool dresser at the thrift store and it has this like rattan kind of woven top. Whoever renovated it before, you know, just got black on it and I think I can sand it all down. I, although I really like the combination of the black and the rattan, I think it would be really pretty like updated and like a, a nice kind of soft color that pairs really nicely with the rattan on top and then changing out all of the handles. I feel like it could be a cool thrift flip project for us to work on. It's $60 and I have a 25% off coupon so it would be 45 bucks for this big dresser. Just hoping we can get it home in the rain. Okay, got it all in in the rain thanks to this beautiful soul. Now we got to get home before it starts raining again. I might be one of the best finds I've found so far. I really wanted you guys to help me transform this into a better dresser or just a prettier piece. I had a couple of swatches, and so I asked you guys which one you liked best, and then I had a couple of options for knobs. So we are going with Mink Stole for our paint. Instead of the gold, we went with the black hardware. We need to not do this in my house. We need to get this outside in the backyard. My handy dandy Romeo helper <laughs> is going to help me take it outside and we are gonna get started working on it. So I think the first plan of attack is we're gonna remove the drawers. We're going to remove all of these not so cute knobs from the drawers. I don't like them at all and we're gonna sand this baby down. You guys are gonna be really proud of me too. I bought glasses to protect myself. I have a better sander than when I did the other dresser and this is an orbital sander. These knobs are put on with just brads through it. There's not, they're not screwed in or anything. I've never seen that before. Maybe that was something that they used to do. Maybe that's, this is old. I have no yeah. These are so ugly, <laughs> but protective. So what I realized is like some of it is actually coming off, like you can see the bare wood, but since I'm actually priming and painting it, I don't think that I need to get all of the black paint off. So really what I'm doing is I'm just taking the finish off of it so that it's it accepts the paint more. I'm roughing it up a little bit. So I really actually don't think that this is gonna take very long. So we got all the finish off. We need to get rid of all of the sanding residue, the sand residue off. So I'm just gonna use a microfiber cloth and like wipe it all down and get all the dust off of it so that it's ready to be primed and painted. But also there are a couple things that we need to fix on this dresser. The wood has been kind of gouged out, like right here on the corner is one and it just needs to be filled. Wood filler that you can use. Also, whoever painted this dresser just didn't do a very good job and got black on it. So, I researched online a little bit and found that citrus stripping gel should remove the paint from rattan and cane. I don't, we're about to find out. To apply it, I'm just gonna use a little paintbrush. We're experiencing all of this for the first time together, but I hope it works, because then we'll know how to get it off. Okay. making sure that everything was sanded down good and went back through and wiped everything down. So it's been about 35 minutes and I just tested a small part of the citrus paint stripper to see if it was taking off the cream and it's actually working. So I'm just using this scraper and lightly scraping the paint off. You see how it's coming up? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad it came off so that it's like perfect. Okay, so we got a lot of it off. 
Uh, so now we're ready to prime, but I want to protect this cane because I don't want to get any more paint on it. Just about got everything primed the base of the dresser and all of the drawers I'm just going back through on the inside of the drawers and then we're gonna let this not that this needs to dry overnight I'm pretty tired <laughs> from sanding and priming everything so I'm gonna wait overnight and then we're gonna paint early in the morning and then let it dry for as long as possible and then in the afternoon we're gonna seal it <gasps> and then reveal it seal it and then reveal it Wow so I'll see you guys in the morning the sun is out and I cannot wait to see the color that we picked on the dresser. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, wow, definitely two coats of paint. I wanted to make sure that it had a really even coat and it was like in perfect shape. So it's been a few hours <laughs> and a lot of help from Romeo, but I think we got it. I obviously didn't paint the inside inside of the dresser because um, it was just regular wood color. It wasn't even painted black like the outside was. So I just went ahead and left that. And then the drawers are all done too and I double coated those as well with paint. Another idea I had was to maybe find some really pretty contact paper or wallpaper or something to put on the inside of the drawers to make them look really special when they open. This is definitely an older dresser. It definitely has some imperfections to it. So I feel like adding a piece of contact paper or something on the inside would just make it like that much more finished but obviously that's not a necessity right now with what we're going through so I'm not gonna do that now but I'll leave some inspiration pictures and then follow along on the vlogs so that you guys can see me add that in later on I want to reveal the rattan on top to see how it looks with the new color and I can go around and touch up the edges too <gasps> Wow oh my god it's beautiful the new pink color is so kind of complementing to this rattan color, the natural. So I'm going to go around the edges of where I taped off that piece of paper around the rattan and just kind of like clean it up a little bit. And then we are going to wait for this to dry really well. And not just to the touch, but really cure with the paint before sealing it. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so for sealer, I asked my friend Danielle because she does a lot of refinishing to furniture. I don't do quite as much um, projects as she does, but I asked her kind of what she uses to seal her furniture that won't make it turn yellow, but that also won't give it any weird shine or sheen or make it like shiny in any way. So she recommended using a wax. So we're gonna be sealing it with, after this dries, we're gonna be sealing it with a wax and how she applies it is using cheesecloth. So this will be the first time that I've ever tried this, but she says it's relatively straightforward. It's a waiting game at this point, so I will see you guys when we start to seal. Okay, so it is day three of working on this dresser. I really wanted it to be very dry. I wanted to make sure that I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this dresser. We've already put in so much work. I wanted to make sure that before we seal it, it was really dry. So I waited overnight and now we are ready to put our paste finishing wax. So my friend Danielle gave me a lot of great tips on how to use this. So I did do a little bit of research on the wax finish. It isn't the most durable, but it is the prettiest finish, I think. Um, so over time, you may need to put another coat of wax sealant on it, or you can use 
multiple layers to make it more durable. So she gave me a great tip, especially where the more high traffic movement is going to be on the dresser, like underneath the drawers where they're going to be rubbing. We're going to be doing multiple coats and especially on the bottom of those drawers because as you open them, they are going to need some extra protection, I guess. Wax comes in two colors, a natural and a special dark color. So I have natural because mine is a little on the light side. And then using some cheesecloth, I'm just going to get some on here. And we're gonna spread an even layer on it. You can always build more layers waiting the 10 to 15 minutes. Wait, right, so I really like this wax. Actually, it has like a very subtle sheen to it but it doesn't make it shiny, it won't yellow, which was a big stickler for me because the oil-based polyurethane that I used on a past a furniture piece turned it yellow and was not, not cute. And it doesn't smell that bad. Maybe we are outside, but I don't feel like it's an overwhelming odor. So the drawers have been drying for a little while so we can put on our hardware. You guys helped me pick new hardware for this dresser and I love them. They're really simple, they're matte black. <gasps> They're so pretty. We are gonna put them on and then assemble the dresser. So pretty. Oh my God. Okay, so I just need to put on like, what? Eight of these, eight screws, and then we'll bring it inside. I also wanna show you guys how I style this dresser. Okay, so oh, we got it back inside. I love the way the color complements the cane so much. It's especially a lot more than the black did. We kept kind of like a black accent because I really do like a contrast. Instead of paint, we used black in the knobs and it looks so much more refreshed. And we are in my breakfast nook. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't have a place for this in my house right now, but possibly an upcoming room makeover or a new home of ours. I will hang on to this because it was such a good deal. Got this for $45 and all in, it was under $100 to redo. So pretty big dresser like this for under $100 is kind of crazy. For styling this, I, we put it underneath these pictures. You guys know that I DIY these for my kitchen makeover. I love them still. So a dresser obviously is going to be pretty much in a bedroom and not not in your breakfast area or maybe if you wanted to use it as a pantry it actually looks kind of nice here if we didn't sit at the table i want to show you guys how to kind of simply style the top of a dresser depending on what it's being used for up top so obviously above the dresser you could have a tv mounted or you could have a piece of art like i do here i have a few decor options for you to kind of play around with keeping it very simple but just making it look well styled in a room now this totally depends on your style what type of items you want to incorporate but i would definitely always suggest having one piece of greenery especially when like in this room for example we have this random plug in our breakfast nook that is just in the middle of the wall off to the side we have no idea why but if you had something like that that you were trying to cover greenery is a great way to do that so I have this face with just some dried eucalyptus that I actually dried out myself in it and it creates kind of a perfect barrier and you can kind of shift your branches around to kind of cover any plugs. Now, I think that this is a little too small, so I love to build up and build layers when I'm styling a piece of furniture. So I always put things on books. Now, it's not for everyone, but I love a good colored book. You guys know that but I equally love its contents too. So I think the key is just finding books that you equally like its contents, but also have the same color palette that you're going for in your house. So since we have some black knobs, I have this Decade of Art and Architecture book that's black, so it'll tie in some of those knobs right underneath and give a little bit of height and interest. And then to make the black a little more subtle, not so stark, you can always layer some books on top of each other. So I have this like kind of like soft burnt orange color that kind of ties in and complements the pictures as well. So we can throw that one kind of at an angle underneath and voila. 
Also in a bedroom, you're probably gonna have some kind of jewelry box or jewelry case of some kind for to hold all of your jewelry. So I actually use this one in my bedroom that I actually redid in a thrift flip, found this at the thrift store too, and put this rock on top. I don't think that the rock ne necessarily goes with this vibe, but this is the one that I use and it has such a pretty inside. Or if you don't have a jewelry box, you can just have a really pretty dish. I got this one at the thrift store too. And just to be a, like a catch-all for like rings or bracelets and you can style that on here also if you don't have a TV above your dresser you can also put a lamp on one side this is a great way to add light to your dresser and just add more height on the opposite side and then you can style your little jewelry dish around it and then of course a candle because who doesn't love a candle in their bedroom so having a pretty container that the candle is in always helps make it just look a little more elevated. Okay, so styling that, kind of keeping with the rule of threes. Styling in threes will help just balance your design. Or if you didn't want a lamp or you have a TV there and you didn't want a lamp next to the TV, you could kind of rearrange some of your items clustered over here, but careful of flammable dried flowers. If you had a like a pretty glass tray or a wooden one like this one, this kind of helps organize some like smaller items. So if you wanted to put some perfume or some lotion or some makeup brushes or things that you need at nighttime, you could put them all in a tray together and it makes it look a little more neat and put together. to kind of maybe like refresh the dresser you already have in whether it's painting it and changing the knobs or just restyling the top of it. I hope this gave you some ideas. I had so much fun making over this dresser. It was so nice to get outside and do a project. And if you did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up below. Also, don't forget to watch a behind the scenes of me making over this dresser in my latest vlog. I've had so much fun filming these vlogs over the last week and a half and i hope you guys are enjoying them too so head over to exo mckenna vlogs and check them out and if you're not already subscribed to our diy family definitely hit that subscribe button below and i will see you guys next sunday bye guys so much fun making over this dresser. dresser. yeah so i want to reveal that <laughs>